Now, as you know, my channel name is Mr. Lutine Guy. I originally tried to get the name Mr. Guillotine, but uh, couldn't do so. And as you know, my husband sometimes contributes to the videos. He doesn't always have time to do so, but he does sometimes contribute. Uh, but on this occasion, he has got something really interesting to say on the subject of the Twitter, the McAlpine Twitter libel, and I'd like you to hear it. So here he is. <laughs> of the past such as Lord Denning don't appear to have their equivalent today, I still believe that any High Court judge faced with a multiplicity of defendants in a case of libel brought by McAlpine would react as I am about to explain. I doubt that I am the only person that finds the spectacle of a uh, wealthy, powerful, well-connected gentleman such as McAlpine throwing his weight around in the legal sphere to be a thoroughly unpleasant sight. I note also that uh, McAlpine's lawyers have been widely quoted in the print and uh, other media, particularly in relation to all the Twitterers who have uh, tweeted or retweeted uh, defamatory material. Lawyers obviously represent their clients and it would be as well for uh, the media generally to seek an opinion. There are always uh, at least two sides to every issue. Uh, that's why you have courts. Otherwise you wouldn't need a judge and you wouldn't need to counsel. As I see no one else making any contradictory statements, uh, it seems to fall to me to express a differing opinion. However, this is uh, only a private person's opinion and not legal advice. The question is, should the hundreds or more probably the thousands of Twitterers who tweeted and retweeted the defamatory material about McAlpine really be worried that he is going to drag them into the libel courts? I don't think so. And for what it's worth, here is my reasoning. There is absolutely no chance that McAlpine would be able to sue each and every Twitter defendant in an individual libel action. The court would aggregate all the cases into one, as each case is based upon exactly the same facts. The impression that is received by McAlpine getting separate large sums of money from various soft targets with deep pockets in out-of-court settlements is not helpful to a general understanding. The extent of the libel in terms of um, how many people have repeated the libel is uh, relevant to the uh, level of the award of damages, but it's just wrong to suppose that if McAlpin was to be awarded £100,000, that he would receive £100,000 times, say, 10,000 Twitterers. Should McAlpine ever really follow through on his threat to sue each and every Twitterer, the judge would be bound to find a way to avoid hearing the case at all. It's arguable that a judge in these circumstances would say that a libel court is not the proper forum for an individual, no matter how wronged or how important, to seek to intimidate the general population of an entire country into ceasing to make speculations, albeit defamatory speculations, about him. Just imagine the practical realities of bringing a case, as McAlpine is threatening to do against the Twitterers. Just imagine the trial judge sitting in his chambers, uh, reading the papers, in a case where there are 10,000 uh, defendants. He would realize that there must come a point where the sheer numbers of people making, uh, albeit defamatory comments, tips the matter from a private damage scenario into public debate. 
freedom of speech is not just some theoretical concept that has no practical use. Okay, so Lord McAlpine is not a paedophile and the allegations that have been made against him are not true. But there has to be a balance between worrying about some wealthy man getting his reputation damaged and hundreds of children being tortured. I think that the press has lost sight of the issues. The press ought to be considering also the dangers inherent in the libel system. What if Jimmy Savile had been a wealthy man? And what if he had used his considerable wealth to silence rumours of pedophilia by getting lawyers to issue threats of libel action? Oh wait, he was and he did. <laughs>